हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आर्ट ऑफ कोडिंग वी आर बैक विद अ न्यू वीडियो इन अवर सिम्फनी फाइव प्ले लिस्ट इन अवर लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव कवर्ड सिम्फनी फाइव वेब पैक एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर सम फर्दर पार्ट्स ऑफ द वेब पैक एज आई हैव मैंशन इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो इफ़ यू डिडेंट चेक द प्रीवियस वीडियो येट यू कैन गेट द लिंक फ्राम आई बटन और आई विल ऑल्सो एट द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स फर्स्ट आई विल स्टार्ट फ्राम एस सी एस एस फॉर दैट just go to your webpack.config.js file enable sas loader you need to go inside your assets folder i am inside my assets folder here i will create a new folder i will give it name scss and here i will create a new file inside this i will just copy this file and paste here so i will rename it So now we change the extension to SCSS. In the SCSS file, both the CSS and SCSS will work. But in the .dot CSS file, only the CSS will work. We will remove this CSS file. I we removed our style folder next in app.js file we need to call our scss file dot scss and here the folder name should be scss now all the common styles will be added in all dot scss file have we need to install a new package for the sas loader we just copy and paste this command so our package is installed successfully we will again try to run the run watch command and you can see that our command is successfully worked and now our scss is also working in our project next we will install bootstrap sas in our project from here you can get the package and this is the command our package is installed successfully inside our sas folder we will create some subfolders first i will create a folder named general so i just copied this file paste it here and i'll just rename this file to bootstrap first i will call this file in my all.scss file i will go to my all.scss bootstrap so here we don't need to add .scss or the extension this will automatically call it so in my general i will also open this file next in my bootstrap.sas file i will call all the required files from the node module package the bootstrap sas package we have just installed there are lot of files i have already copied them so i will just paste them here so you can see that from the package we have installed bootstrap sas we called all these files uh, you can check the files i have copied and all these files are coming from the node modules folder this folder inside this folder bootstrap sas assets style sheet bootstrap and variables bootstrap sas and here you can see that underscore variable dot sas file So in this way I have called all these files. Our webpack is also compiled successfully. There are some deprecation error. This is related to the package. We can update or change the version here. Next we will call jQuery in our project. We also need to install a package for jQuery. npm jQuery We will get a package 
to install the jquery here copy now our jquery package is also installed because jquery is required everywhere so we need to add or call the jquery in our common js file named app.js this file on the top i will call my jquery jquery in this way you can call jquery next we will make it global this way we can call our jquery next we also need to add some changes in our webpack.config.js file we will add changes in auto provide variables just on comment auto provide jquery we need to add comma we also need to install movement for that we need to run the package npm movement i will give all these links in the description now our movement package is also installed so here i will mention this package as well next i also need to call the movement in our common file for that now we will try to compile our assets again it is giving some error related to movement let's check it ah oh, yes we forget to add a comma here we will compile our assets and yes our assets are compiled successfully so next we can create a folder named components in this folder we can also call our another common components for example if we are implementing a theme inside our project then the theme file should be in components folder or our custom.scss file like our admin.scss file so all the files like that should be in our components folder the next folder should be our pages folder inside our pages folder we can add the files related to our like page specific css file like two columns header one column headers these files should be in our pages folder so in this way we can manage our assets next we will go to our js for that we will create a new folder named js here all our js should be inside this folder we will also move this app.js file inside this folder but now we need to add some changes here for example we need to go out here we need to add two dots also here next we also need to add change our webpack.config.js file we need to change the path for our app.js file here we need to as go to assets/js and now if we will compile our assets again then it should work our assets are compiled so all our js code should be in this folder and next here in the same way we will also create a new folder named components inside the components folder we will add our packages or common files for example we we will call our bootstrap.js file here so now we need to call all the required js files from our bootstrap sas package as we have called for the scss in the same way we can also call the js files i have again just copied that file and i will paste them here so you can see that we call all the required files from our bootstrap sas package after that there should be a folder named entry point the entry point is responsible to handle all the page specific file in my previous video i have already showed that how we can add a page specific js file and call them in our quick files you can create sub folders according to your requirements but this is the actual way to manage the assets in a big or long term project 
and for the management of images we will create a new folder here named images inside this folder we will add our images so I have added a dummy image inside my images folder but we cannot call this image directly in our quick files for that we need to install a new package to copy the files from our assets to build folder we need to search copy webpack plugin click the first link and just copy this command run inside our terminal so our package is installed next we need to add changes in our webpack file i will add dot copy file and that's it we are good to go now we will compile our assets again here the webpack is giving an error and we also need to install a, another package just copy this and paste it here our package is installed we will again try to run or compile our assets so our assets are compiled now we will check our build folder again now you can see that inside the public slash build folder there is now a folder named images so for now we will call this image in our twig file inside templates i will go to security and login file for example i need to call that image on the top then this is the path till our public folder next we need to go to our build inside the public folder slash images one dot if we will refresh and you can see that our image is also coming so in this way you can manage your assets in a big and long term project i hope you will like the video and if you found that the video is helpful then please share the video and like it as well also subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon to get the notifications of my upcoming videos thank you